What's up? Don't need this. Today, I'm finally doing something that I've been putting off for months and months. Today, I'm gonna take this dragonfly and preserve it in resin. The reason I've waited so long to do this is because resin, if you've ever used it before as a medium, is a bitch and a half. It's super sticky, it gets everywhere. It's literally stuck to the table. Okay. Everything is, everything is sticky. If it's not mixed right, it doesn't cure, and then it stays sticky. If it gets on anything, good luck ever getting it off. It's just a lot. So I've been putting it off and putting it off, but it's like, no, we need to do this. So that's what we're doing today and this is that whole process. All right, so this is our little buddy we're working with. He's a little banged up. This guy, he actually ended up hitting the inside of my car while I was driving through Disney World. All right, we're driving through the Disney property and a drag, look at this. this dragonfly hit the window and then landed perfectly on top of the sacred geometry. So it flew through the window, hit here, you can see the guts, hit here, and then bounced around my head and landed here perfectly. And I brought him all the way back here to New Jersey to have his eternal resting place. All right, here is our supplies. We have mixing cups, we have the resin, we have sticks to mix, our silicone molds, and our dragonfly. I think I'm also gonna inlay this 3D printed plastic because I think it looks really cool. Add a little dimension to it, something like that. So this is our supplies. Let's get started, I guess. All right, so pretty much how resin works is, oh my God, these bottles are sticky. Uh, you have the actual, I need to put gloves on, hold on. Okay, so you have the, I can't even read it. You have the actual resin that's here and then you mix it with a hardener. So this, these are obviously liquids, and then when you mix them together and you wait and let them cure, it turns into a solid like plastic. But you have to mix it right, otherwise it's not gonna harden and it's just a sticky, goopy mess and everything is a wash. Everything is sticky, you have to throw everything away. So today we're gonna mix it properly. Now, because we're inlaying a couple different items in the resin, we're gonna have to layer it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour one layer, let it cure for about three to five hours. So it's not fully hard, it's still malleable. Put the plastic in, put a layer over that, let that cure, and then do the dragonfly and let that cure. Hopefully you're starting to understand why I've waited so long to do this, because it's a whole process, but we gotta do it. We can't forget the apron. Okay, now we're good to go. Look at that. I haven't even started yet, and it's already getting on my hands. I haven't even opened, just from touching the bottles. You have to mix it one to one. So 15, 30 milliliters. I'm going to do one part 15, the other part the other 15. Now I'm going to mix it. Oh no, see what I mean, bro? <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. Oh my gosh. Okay. Should be nice and mixed by now. Now, I'm gonna pour it into the mold. The cool thing about resin is that it's kind of self levels itself out. So I'm just gonna spread it around. Make sure it gets every little nook and cranny of this corner. And then I'm gonna go ahead. We're just gonna drop it. Nice. That actually looks pretty cool. Any little air bubbles you don't want. All right, so, so far so good. Looking pretty good. We're gonna come back in about three hours and take a look and see if we're ready to move on to the next layer. All right, I'm back. It's been about five hours. So I think it's time to add a second layer. You can see that it's still a little sticky, which is perfect. 
Uh, okay, I'm just gonna repeat the same steps I did earlier. This stuff is so sticky. Oh my god, it's like, it's, it's literally stuck to the table. Eh, okay. Everything is, everything is sticky. I will say that despite this being a mess and sticky, uh, this is very meditative. So, shout out to Stevie if you're watching this. My friend Stevie, she works with resin all the time. So, mad respect to her because it's certainly a challenging medium to say the least. You see me just spill it everywhere? I like candy. I like can't even touch my phone. All right, I'm just gonna pour it. I'm just gonna pour it. This is crazy. <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay, round two. Here we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick the dragonfly in here, just so the first little bit of it could get trapped. Oh my god, look at this, dude. I will now gently place the dragonfly in. <sighs> okay. All right, well, the second layer is now done. The dragonfly is in there. We'll let it cure for a few hours. That should get the dragonfly nice and stuck. And then I'll go ahead and I guess I'll just do the last layer in a few hours. I don't see it taking any more than three. I thought it would honestly, I honestly thought it was gonna be more, but okay, good stuff. See you in a few hours. All right, we're back. It's been about five hours. It's late, it's like 11 p.m. Should have timed this better because it is past my bedtime, but we're back. We got two fresh bottles, so let's, let's get this last and final layer on. That's looking pretty good. Hit it with the torch real quick. All right, so there you have it. Um, third and final layer. We're gonna check back in about 24 hours because that's how long it should take to fully cure and we'll see the final result and finally be done with this thing. All right, <laughs> so it's the next morning and we have a problem. So the dragonfly in the liquid resin last night floated to the top and then shifted over left a nice big bubble for a couple bubbles for us and uh now it's basically solid so he's stuck Here it is next to the first one I did a few years back. I noticed like the the colors are a little different. This one's got like a little more yellow in it. Not really sure why, but yeah, you can even see on this one, same thing happened. It floated to the top. So like part of it's coming out. So yeah, man, you live and you learn. It's tricky to put organic materials in resin. I know that like this plastic thing that was really easy, and I think that looks really cool. So if I were to work with resin again, I would maybe do more stuff like this, you know, like some 3D printed stuff. But it does seem like the organic material is a little tricky because it just wants to float to the top. But other than that, it looks cool. Maybe put some art behind it or something. I don't know. But we did it. It's good. It's preserved. It'll, it'll, it'll live forever now. All right, well... There you have it. It wasn't what we expected. It's not what we planned for, but that's okay because I still think that there's a lot that can be taken away from this experience. For one, anytime you go outside your comfort zone to learn to grow, you're gonna make mistakes. That's just part of the process, especially the creative process. Anytime you try something new, you go outside your comfort zone, you go into the unknown, you're gonna make mistakes. Now, unfortunately, with resin, you have to be careful with your mistakes because one mistake, you can't erase it, you can't go back, you can't paint over it, it's it's stuck, it's there. So just remember that. Anytime you go outside your comfort zone, you step into the unknown, especially in the creative process, 
you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna learn, but that's, that's how we grow. You learn by doing. The failures are just feedback. There's lessons to learn, okay? I could get really down on myself and be super frustrated and ah, uh, but it's fine. Another thing to take away is this idea of practicing non-attachment. Now, it's like the Buddha said that all attachment leads to suffering. And what he means by that attachment is suffering is that anytime we attach ourselves to an outcome, when we get inside of our head and try to expect something to go a certain way, you're just leading yourself up for failure because at the end of the day, it's gonna unfold exactly how it's meant to. So another thing to take away is this idea of practicing non-attachment. Be detached from the outcome and just see what happens. You'll be a lot happier in the end. Now, a little side note, because I think this is really funny. A couple people swiped up on my Instagram story when I post this and said like, oh, it failed and we messed up. And there was a couple people who were like, it kind of looks like exactly the way it landed in your cup holder, which is crazy because it does. It's the same sacred geometry printout. Uh, it's off to the side a little bit. So like, isn't that funny how life imitates art and vice versa? Think about that. And that makes it honestly even cooler. The fact that it's not perfect, how it literally looks just like how I found it, how it ended up in my life. Interesting, huh? Uh, another thing to take away is this idea of the importance of challenging yourself and trying new things. Do something new, do something challenging because it's just good for your mind, right? To creative problem solve and try to figure out better ways to do something. So now next time, if I decide to work with resin again, which knowing me, I probably will at some point, I'll probably find, cause here, look, I've got another dragonfly that I might want to preserve. He's a little tiny guy, but if I do decide, now I know I have more feedback and better ways of doing this next time around. You know, I thought this video was gonna be a cool process of like, hey, check out this dragonfly, but it really turns out it was just a lesson for me. I took a lot away from this. It was more than just me trying to preserve a dragonfly in resin. Isn't it funny how the universe works like that? It's like, nah, man, you're gonna, it's not gonna turn out how you thought it would, and there's gonna be a ton of lessons on the way. And that's perfect, that's what we're here for. We're learning, we're growing, we're evolving, we're moving forward. That's what the journey's all about, especially the creative journey. Learn by doing, trial and error, be better next time, learn from your mistakes, and just keep it moving. Don't be attached to it. Let it go, keep it moving. And that's that's what we're doing. And we're on to the next one. So with that, we'll wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely had a really fun time, not only creating this, but also filming and editing. It was a lot of fun. Again, just this whole channel, these new videos, this is me going outside my comfort zone and trying new things and seeing what works and seeing what doesn't. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff that people say in their YouTube videos. This has been your friend Eric, and I will see you in the next project.